This is the communications room at Scott Base. So this is the, the heart of Scott Base, we like to think of it. Um, so we've got four communications operators that work here on a 24 hour day um, rotor and we take all of the phone calls, the emails and the radio calls into Scott Base and we're responsible for ensuring all of the safety of the field parties. So we've got two different types of radio communication. We've got um, very high frequency, which is our normal radio, and we've got um, high frequency, which is our long distance radio. And then we've got the telephone and we have a satellite telephone link as well. And we have email. Signing in and out of base is our way of finding out where everybody is in the local area. Um, and also it gives us a time frame. So if people don't come back at the right times, it, we can start um, a search and rescue. Say if you'd fallen down a crevasse and no one knew you were gonna come home. And my pet hate is when people don't sign out or when they don't come back in before they sign out time. You can always extend your time, but um, if you're late, we all start to get a little bit panicky and think you've been eaten by zombie penguins. When you're talking on the radio, make sure that you press the button and then speak. Try and speak in a natural rhythm and pitch, so you don't have to yell into the radio. Um, and also don't be afraid, you know, we're real friendly people and we care about the people we're talking to, so you just have to talk to us as if you're going to have a conversation. Hello K242, this is Scott Bass, go ahead. All of the communications operators come from the New Zealand military. Obviously we've never met each other before, we apply for the job in competition, so just like everybody else here. And although we're military, we um, work as if this was our civilian environment, so we don't really go by rank. But sometimes you'll see us um, in uniform, which can be a little bit of a shock when people forget because they see us in our, our normal clothes on a day-to-day -day basis. So not all of the phone calls that we get at Scott Base are business calls. Occasionally we get some joke calls and sometimes we just get members of the public calling up to find out if there are any polar bears or if there are penguins or sometimes just if it's cold. So this is our latest crank call that ended up on our answer phone. Friday, 3.40 a.m. Yeah, here you go. Um... I'm wanting to buy a polar bear and um, a, a, friend, a friend of mine told me that this, this is the number to ring. I don't want to spend any more than 5000 You know, I want one of those... Excuse me. I'm trying to buy a polar bear and you guys have <laughs> Sunday ketchup. How much? You're not going to buy a box of chocolates and buy a whole of it. Yes, so, sorry about that. I apologize. So what I want to do is buy this polar bit and I'll look after it. I'll go down. How are you going to ship it back? I'll find out. I've got a little... I was thinking about just driving him home. I'll run him back. I'll tell him I'm home. But what I wanted to do, because I, I went and bought a thousand pops cooks <laughs> from the dairy. So it's probably. I'll bring you back. That's <laughs> 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 not good.